Now we have all of our basic settings set up, we can move on to creating our first product. So to do that, come to Catalog and Products. And then in the top right corner, you want to click on Add New Product. Here is where we set up all of the information for our product, including prices and how it appears on the site and so forth. So the first thing you want to do is to select that it is a virtual product and give it a name. So I'm just going to simulate the sale of my Rank Cracker software, which normally I give away for free, but I'm going to use that as a product in this example and sell it. So you can enter the name here, Rank Cracker. We want the product to be enabled, visible everywhere and available for order, and the condition is new. Then we just need to add a short description and then a longer description and tags. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. So I have now populated with a short description and a long description. And at this point we can click on save and stay, which will create the product in our database. Once that has saved, we can then move on to the other options. So let's set prices. Up here, we can choose the retail price of $47. Now, you can also set up tax rules if you need to, but right now there is no need. We just need to enter the price in the retail price box here, and we can see the final retail price of $47 here. Now, we can move on to SEO, where we have to give the product a meta title and meta description. So I'm just going to pause the video while I do that. Once you have done that, again, we can click on save and stay. Next, we want to move on to associations, and this is where we assign a category for our product. So if we click on create new category, it's going to warn us we're going to lose unsaved modifications, but we have just saved our product, so there is nothing to lose. We can click on OK, and that will bring us into the create category page. Now, Rank Cracker is a piece of software, so I'm going to call my category software, leave it displayed and leave it at the default parent category, and just paste in a short description here, which I've already prepared. You can give the category an image along with a meta title and description, but I'm just going to keep it simple here. You can also assign meta keywords if you wish, along with the SEO friendly URL. Once you're happy with that, click on save and that will create the new category for us. Then we just need to go back into editing our product, which we can do here. Coming into the associations tab and then we can make the default category as software by just clicking expand all and ticking software here and that's the default category there so click save and stay once you're happy with that then we can set up the quantities now remember early on we disabled stock management when we were going through the preferences here because we're selling a digital product we have unlimited stock so this isn't a worry for us so you can make sure this is entirely disabled then we move into the virtual product specific settings so it asks us does this product have an associated file now this is Rank Cracker. It is a Windows executable installer. If you were selling an ebook, you would have an associated file as the PDF. If you were selling a package of videos, you would have an associated file and so on. So I'm just going to pause a video while I fill this out and then we'll go over it. So I have selected the Rank Cracker installer in the add file menu here and we have a couple of other options to fill out. You can choose to restrict the number of times the customer can download the file if you want to. You can also set an expiration date so the file will be invalid and unable to download it after this date. Or you can set for a number of days so the customer may be able to say make the purchase they can download the file five times over the next 31 days then after that they would have to get in touch with you to manually support it or you can disable these just by setting to zero so once you have set 
the product or the file that you want to be delivered as part of the order, just click on save and stay. Now we can come across and set up the images for our product. So if you just click on add files and select your image, then click on upload files, you will see it upload for us like that. You can also add additional images to the product to give the customer a better look. So I'm going to add another image now, like this. And then we can choose which is the cover image and which has priority just by changing and dragging the order around like this. Once you're happy with that, click save and stay. So that is the product pretty much set up. We've got a few other options here that we're not going to really use selling a digital product features. For example, if you were selling TVs in, as a feature, you might list whether it has four HDMI sockets or two. If it was a computer monitor, you might be listing the dimensions of the screen or the weight, for example. Customization allows us to add some other fields that we don't need for a digital product. And attachments you might choose to use. For example, if you have a product manual, this would allow people to download the manual up front without buying the product first, and you would attach that here. And suppliers, again, this is more relevant to people selling actual physical products rather than the average digital product. So once you've got all of your information, prices, SEO, categories, quantities, the virtual product and images set up, just click save. And that is the creation of your first product. Now, just to build the site out a little bit more, I'm going to add two other products in two other categories quickly. So I'm going to pause a video while I do that. So I've now finished setting up the other dummy products, which you can see here. And if we just take a look at our home page now, you will see we've still got the dummy graphics in from the initial install here. Um, and we're going to look at changing the theme and all of the actual design and appearance shortly. But for now, let's just take a look. We can see here the products are as we've um, put them in. Uh, we can sort by popular and new arrivals there and you can see this is what the product looks like this is a short description we completed here's the longer description you can see that you can send it to a friend nice and easily and it's got all of the social sharing buttons you can add it to a wish list or add it to cart here and you can see that is in the cart continue shopping Let's take a look at the other products, the premium tutorials here, again, all of the details and information. Across here, Rank Cracker, we've got two screenshots with that and you can click on this and turn it into a light box. So already you can see the site is quite functional. And if we delve, I created a category called SEO and put all three products into that one category just so you can get a look for uh, how it all comes together and here's the category description that we set ideally you want 200 to 300 words here but this is just a sample and you can change whether it's a list view with more details here or the grid view so if we take a look at the cart one of the main things that we need to sort out before we move on to the design and appearance is to actually set up some payment options and set up all of the checkout so we're going to do that next <laughs> 